Time in room shooting, one of the most important and exciting parts of the game. We're going to talk specific shots. We're going to talk philosophy. We're going to talk about the four shots that you need to know. And we're going to watch some video. Let's start off with philosophy. Whether you realize it or not, every time you're winding up to shoot, you're telling a story to the goalie. You want to use the diagonals, meaning if you want to shoot for the low left, you want the goalie to think you're shooting it to the top right selling the diagonally opposite corner. Using a three-quarter swing, whether it's underhand or overhand, will help you. The power of pause on your weight transfer, what this is all about is that when you, if you can have a subtle hitch as you transfer your weight from your back foot to your front foot, it will freeze a goalie and give you a huge advantage in your shooting. A low high windup is a technique we're gonna teach you that will help you with this pause in your weight transfer. And last, if you draw a line through your feet, you will see if you are, if you're, if you're just like in golf, drawing a line through your feet will tell you if you have the setup that will help you deceive the goalie. The four shots, a teeter-totter, a leaner, an elevator, and an anti-leaner. Starting off with the teeter-totter, this is a near side low pull shot. It's a high to low pull shot. It's in the near side low. We're going to look at the low high windup. We're going to look at the line through the feet. We're going to notice that we're going to keep our chest up and our hands up and our elbow up to hold the goalie up. And the three-quarter swing is also going to hold the goalie on the far side as we yank that ball to the near side. We're going to stay up right through the shot. So let's take a look at the shooter. He's beginning his wind up. Here's your low high wind up. Backwards crossover step, initiating the low high wind up. Crow hop, lifting the hands up. The posture is telling the goalie top left. Elbow up, hands up, eyes up, chest up, telling the goalie top left. Draw a line through his feet, and you're going to see that it's keeping his hips closed, and it's selling top left. He's going to pull this ball to low right. The three-quarter swing continues to sell top left. And then yank that ball to low right and handcuff the goalie. Now let's talk about the leaner. This is the counter to the teeter-totter. It's a far side high push shot. Your low high wind up sets it up beautifully. Look at the, we will look at the line through his feet. We will look at the three quarter overhand swing. We will look at the body lean and where he's looking, where he's selling. Here's the wind up, low high wind up. Backwards crossover step. Crow hop. Lifting his hands. Look at the line through his feet. Do you notice the line through his feet is selling to the right pipe now? As he's releasing this ball, he's beginning to lean to the right. He's looking to the low right. He is selling to the low right. His three-quarter swing is giving him angle to the top left, but his body is selling low right. He continues his lean, his look, and again, it handcuffs the goalie. The goalie twitches slightly, and the ball goes in. Now we're going to talk about the elevator. This is a low to high shot. It's a near side pull shot. Notice how in the crow hop, the shooter dips a little bit to sell low. Draw a line through his feet, and you'll notice his hips are closed. Notice the three-quarter swing, the body lean, and the head tilt. So here's the wind-up. Backwards crossover step. Crow hop. Weight transfer. Notice the dip, the way he's looking low. Notice the line through the feet. It's holding the goalie on the left side, on the far pipe. The three-quarter swing holds the goalie on the left side, on the far pipe. 
the head tilt, the body lean, and the swing holds the goalie until the ball is in the air, and then the goalie can't catch up to it. The anti-leaner is the counter to the elevator. It's a low-to-low, far-side push shot. Notice the head tilt in the wind-up. Draw a line through the feet. Notice how he stands up and gets his chest up just before he shoots and releases the ball. And his eyes are on the top right. Here we're going to shoot to the low left and we're trying to sell to the top right. Backwards crossover step. Crow hop. Weight transfer. Draw a line through the feet. Notice how it's going to the right pipe. Everything right now looks the same as the elevator shot. He starts to transfer his weight, subtle hesitation. Now, as he's swinging, he's coming up. His chest is coming up, holding the goalie up, handcuffing the goalie, and out quicking him with a shot to the low left. Now for the fun part, let's get into the video. We're gonna start off talking about your wind-up footwork. You need to be able to get your shot off quickly, and there are different techniques. This shooter is shuffling into his wind-up. So is this shooter. Shuffle, shuffle, wind-up, and shoot. A long pull, shuffling into his wind-up. There are also techniques called a crow hop. Notice him hopping on his right foot. Both the shuffle and the crow hop gives you a nice hesitation and hitching your shot. Here's another example. Zach Currier crow hopping on his left foot as he yanks that ball with a teeter-totter. You need to be able to catch the ball and get your shot off quickly and move to a spot. Practicing your footwork of getting to a spot, setting your feet, and being able to deceive the goalie is huge. It's not just about the swing. It's about the feet and getting there and being efficient. Sometimes you'll carry the ball and set your feet to shoot it. Other times, you might dodge and set your feet. But anytime you can set your feet, you're in better position than shooting on the run because you can get that hitch in your shot. In box across, they backpedal a lot. It's called a drag. They shoot right out of their drag. It's a really important skill to be able to feed and fake and shoot. Here you're going to see a player pump, drag, and rip a shot. Let's watch some video of teeter-totters. Here you're going to see Will Manny winding up and yanking that ball to the near side low. His sidearm stroke absolutely holds the goalie on the far pipe and handcuffs him as he yanks it into the near side low. Watch it. Watch his footwork as he steps in with a couple shuffle steps and rips his teeter-totter. Here, Ethan Walker does really an underhand version. I put this in because what we're talking about is the near side low corner. Draw a line through his feet. It's holding the goalie on the far pipe. And this low shot, even though it's telling him low and he's shooting low, he's faking far pipe with his body and his swing. And it allows him to yank that ball into the near side low. Kevin Rice handcuffs the goalie. Again, it's very much of a sidearm shot, but it's a little bit high to low. But this sidearm shot also is a screenshot around his man, but look at how it handcuffs the goalie to the near side low. Here's some video examples from the pictures that I was showing you before. Draw a line through the feet, elbow comes up, hold the goalie up, yank it, near side low. I personally like the overhand, three-quarter overhand version of this shot because I think it is the easiest shot to hit. The sweeping sidearm might be harder for the goalie to read, but it's harder to be accurate with it. The three-quarters overhand allows you to be ridiculously accurate in nailing that offside hip, offside ankle, near side low shot. In boxing Canada, they shoot this shot all the time for the reasons I just went over it. 
box across players in Canada shoot this shot all the time. It allows them to work the diagonals, but it also gives them the accuracy that you need in box lacrosse. Now let's look at some video on leaners. Here's the video from the shots that we were looking at before. Notice, draw a line through the feet, body lean, looking low right, selling low right, three quarters stroke. Looks, it looks like the, it looks a lot like, as he's winding up, it looks a lot like the teeter-totter. And it should. Watch the goalie dip slightly. The beauty of shooting deceptively is the goalie will actually get out of the way. And you do not have to be as accurate. One thing I want you all to understand, don't judge your shot on whether it went in. Judge your shot on whether you fooled the goalie. So here, the shooter misses, but he had the goalie. The goalie's moving in the wrong direction. If you learn how to judge your shooting based on whether you had the goalie, eventually you'll figure out the accuracy that you need. Tyler Pace shot leaners as well as anybody. As most Canadians do, watch him wind up and rip a shot. It's that three quarters angle. He's leaning left. The goalie's dipping slightly, and the ball goes into the far side high. Such a thing of beauty. Another box player in Randy Stats catches the ball. Quick release. One of the things about leaners that I want you all to know if you are rushed on a shot, shoot for the far side, shoot your leaner, shoot your anti leaner. Anytime you are rushed, just get it off and lean. You don't have time to hold the goalie up. Watch this. See the lean? Watch his body leaning to the left. He's got the three-quarter stroke. The goalie's dipping a little bit, and it's right by him. The goalie's getting out of the way of the shot. Kevin Rice shoots his low high windups a lot and shoots leaners. Look at him leaning to the left. Goalie's going low. When you're rushed, watch the Hoka. Slip this pick, catch and shoot. He just puts his head down and shoots high and watch the goalie stick. Look at it. His stick is upside down because he's leaning and looking low. Anytime you're rushed, shoot your leaner. When you shoot mid-range and in tight leaners, it's more of a chin to the chest look down. John Grant Jr. popularized this shot chin to the chest but on the outside shots it's a body lean and a look it's not a chin to the chest it's too hard to be accurate with the chin to the chest from the outside but from the inside it gets the goalie stick right out of the way the elevator is your low to high pull shot really hard shot for goalies to deal with the three quarters angle swing draw a line through the feet and it'll show far pipe. The goalies have a hard time picking it up, and they almost always dip. Watch this. Tough angle. Here's another example. It's like the same shot later in the game. You really got to sell and look. Look at, look at the head tilt. Look at his body. Look at him dip right as he's winding up, and he brings that goalie stick right down and be able to yank it up. That's what an elevator is all about. Watch one more example. If you can do this shot around a screen, it's even better. Screenshots are deadly. It's so hard for goalies to pick up. All of your deceptive shooting works when you shoot around screens as well. Now let's look at some video on the anti-leaner. This is your low to low push shot. Another shot that you shoot if you're rushed. Watch Rob Pennell execute the perfect anti-leaner. Do you see how his chest is up and he handcuffs that goalie? The goalie can't move low because his chest is staying up. He goes five hole or far side with it. Lyle Thompson shoots this shot all the time. His chest stays up, quick release. 
Goalie kind of knows it's going low, but he's guessing high right at the last second. He's kind of going low, and then he's coming up. Lyle Thompson, when he's rushed, he always shoots his anti-leaner. Remember, you need time to execute a pull shot. If you're rushed, shoot your leaner and your anti-leaner. One more time. Chest up, quick release, low to low. Look how the shooter lifts right up, chest up, holding the goalie. He's going low, but then he's coming up, and the ball squirts right underneath him. Ethan Walker, the master of this shot. Hold the goalie up, out quick and low. It's one of the best shots in the book. Your low high windup is one of the best shots because it allows you to lift the goalie up as well as to have a great hesitation in your weight transfer from your back foot to your front foot. Kevin Rice shoots these shots almost every time he shoots low high windups, and he's one of the best shooters in the MLL. Watch him go low to high and lift. When he lifts up, he holds the goalie up. But when he wants to, he can lean and shoot a lean or two. We practice this all the time, low, high, and release it. Low, high, hold the goalie up, yank it low, hold the goalie up and lean, and you can shoot a leaner. You will be amazed at how effective this shot is. Your Paulus pump is a shot that's very much like a low high windup. But instead of just a smooth low to high lift, you hard pump a shot. Watch John Grant Jr. pump low, lift up, and handcuff the goalie. Here's Johnny Pallas executing the shot that I named after him because he used to shoot this shot all the time. Now I notice that almost all Canadians and natives in box across shoot this shot. We worked on it with our high school team, and it is a really hard shot. It holds the goalie up and handcuffs the goalie. And it allows you to still shoot your leaner, which is your far side push shot, as well as your teeter-totter, which is your pull shot. And it makes the goalie bite early. It's very difficult for goalies. And if you've got the time, it's a shot that you must learn how to shoot. BC final, palace pump, lean, far side shot. As I mentioned before, all your deceptive shots work with your screen shots. And you should always be looking for a screen. It will allow you to have a greater distance. Watch Lyle Thompson catch and go low high wind up screen shot right around his man. This is a great view of what a screenshot looks like to a shooter. Think about this. Here's Jeremy Noble finding a screen, winding up. You're, you've got the exact vantage point of the goalie. You can't even see Jeremy Noble. And all of a sudden, the ball is in the net. Shooting a screenshot is something you should do every time that you can. One piece of advice though, is when you're practicing your screenshot, use tennis balls so you don't injure your goaltender and you don't injure your teammates. The twister is a shot that almost all Canadians shoot. It's a very deceptive shot. Let's take a look at some video on this shot. So it's gonna look like Curtis Dixon is shooting the ball to the left side of the net, to the near side pipe but he is shooting a three-quarter inside-out angle and changes the direction so it looks like it's going to go to the near side pipe and then it goes through the five hole. The shot is incredibly deceptive. Just like our three-quarter overhand shot holds the goalie on the far pipe, this shot makes the goalie move in a similar fashion. Here, Randy Stats is making it look like he's shooting to the left pipe and he's 
twistering the ball back to the right. It's very similar to a leaner in the way that his body posture is selling left while he's shooting back to the right. Here, same thing. Look at the goalie moving in the wrong direction. Very subtle, but look how he's turning his stick over and he's actually rolling his wrists to the outside. That in part, with his body lean, is telling the goalie near side low as he sticks it to the far side high. Let's watch another example of it from Randy Statz's college career. It's a great shot on the wrong side pipe. So he's leaning and look at his stick turn over as the goalie is thinking far side. Another example right here. It looks like Hickey is shooting the ball to the near side, but his inside out three quarters angle moves the goalie and opens up the five hole. Same thing out of Sean Evans right here. Twister is an amazing shot. Takes years of practice, but it works. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on time and room shooting. Definitely one of the most interesting and cool presentations I've ever done. If you can learn how to deceive the goalie, it gives you a greater margin for error in your accuracy. Instead of having to shoot the perfect shot that pins the corner with amazing velocity, you can literally make the goalie move out of the way for you. Deceptive shooting, time and room shooting, learn it.